Hello children, it's lovely to see you again and this is KBF Preschool from St Anne's and we're going through the first book of the Bible and I haven't even got my Bible on the table, let me get it. Oops, it's this one. Oh. And we're doing the very first part of the Bible. We're in Genesis and we've learnt lots of things about people. And today we're going to learn about a man called Joseph and he takes up almost half of Genesis, the last half of Genesis. Okay, can you remember last week about a man called Abraham? God made a promise to him. Can you remember? Oops, I've lost my... This is Joseph. Um, so Abraham, God took... Abraham outside and got him to look up at the stars and what did he promise? He promised lots and lots of children and grandchildren, great, great grandchildren to Abraham and they were his descendants. Do you remember the name of that word? God promised Abraham a very big family. And last week we heard that Abraham and Sarah had a baby boy and his name was Isaac. Well, Isaac had a son called Jacob and then Jacob had 12 sons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, eight, nine, ten and another 11, 12, 12 sons. So Abraham's family was already getting very big. So we're going to hear the story of Joseph because Joseph was one of Jacob's sons. Now this is a very long story, so let's just have a bit of a break. Can you clap with me? Okay, now I want you to clap four times. One, two, three, four. Now shall we try to clap three times? One, two, three. Very good. How about we clap very quietly? Twice. One and two. Two. And now how about a very tiny clap? Just one. Well done. Now put your hands down in your lap so you can concentrate. So here is the story about Joseph. Now, Joseph was Jacob's very favourite son because Joseph was born when Jacob was very old. And Jacob gave Joseph a beautiful coat. It was a multicoloured coat. Beautiful. There's Joseph in his beautiful coat. And here's Joseph with all his brothers. There's 11 brothers and Joseph. And because Jacob loved Joseph and gave him this beautiful coat, the other brothers didn't like Jacob at all. Now, these other brothers were out a long way away looking after some sheep. And Jacob said to Joseph, can you go and look after, go and see them and make sure they're all right? So Joseph went all the way across to where the brothers were. And the brothers saw him coming and they didn't like him at all. And they thought that they would kill him. Isn't that mean? And so they got Jacob and they took off his coat and they threw him down into a bit of a well. Oh, that's terrible. Now, while the brothers were sitting talking, they looked up and they saw some people who with their camels and their sheep were going across and they talked amongst themselves and they decided that they wouldn't kill Joseph. What they do is that they'd sell him to these people. So they sold him to these people and these people, let me move everything, these people 
were going to a different country and they took Joseph to the new country, which was called Egypt, and they had to go a long, long, long way away. Long way away from his family and from the country that he knew. And they went all the way. It was a long way to Egypt. Okay? So this is Egypt over here. And there's Joseph. And that seems to be like really not very good. But God was with Joseph. And Joseph got to work in a family for a man called Potiphar. And Potiphar could see that Jacob, jo that Joseph, sorry, that Joseph was a very good person and that God was with him. And so he made Joseph able to look after his household and all his business. God, even though jo Joseph was a long way from home, God was with him and God was looking after him. So can you remember that story? Even though his brothers were very mean to him and, jo and Joseph had to go all the way to Egypt, a long way from home, God was still with him and God was looking after him. And I've got a thing here, and you can sort of see. Here is Joseph looking after the sheep in his own country. And then he goes all the way over here to Egypt. In Egypt, there's a lot of desert, and there's things called pyramids. So there's Joseph in Egypt. Such a such a long way away. And if we look at our, our timeline, you can see the timeline here. So we've we've looked at um, how God made everything. We learnt about Adam and Eve. And then about Noah and the ark and the rainbow. Last week we learnt about Abraham and Sarah and their baby Isaac. And so here's Joseph. He comes after that. Quite a while after in the Bible, but he comes there. And he looks very important there, doesn't he? And we'll learn. And we'll learn why he's very important next week. Because God was with him. God had something very special for him to do. So shall we pray? Put all of this down. Dear God, thank you for looking after Joseph. Dear God, thank you for looking after Joseph. And thank you for looking after us. And thank you for looking after us. Amen. Okay, for the craft, you might like to make um, Joseph. We can send you a, a picture of the head if you like, but you can make, make the head anyway. I've stuck a straw on the back of him and he's in a, he's just on a paper cup. Whoops, there's Joseph with his coat on, a brown coat. So you can just do that yourself and put a brown coat on it. And then you can make a multicolored coat. Look at all the colors on that. Lots of colors. And you can put that coat on him so that you can remember, oh, his head keeps going round a bit wrong. <laughs> you can remember all about Joseph and his multicolored coat. It's been lovely seeing you today, kids.
Have a good week and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now. Oops, his coat came undone. See you next week.